don't really know if this is going to go on Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft or not. I know it's not going to go on Zenshin Academy. Uh, it's probably going to get put on my uh, YouTube group page, Mystic Order of the Sacred Circle. So, uh, and I don't have any intros or anything for that. As a matter of fact, I kind of do. It's, a, it's an old Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, or not just Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, but Bentley's Bewitching Bushcraft. Um, for a short period of time, uh, Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft became Bentley's Bewitching Bushcraft when I uh, started to post a little bit more of my pagany witchy stuff, but uh, I quickly just decided that's not something I want to share a lot of, so... I didn't, I, I didn't continue. Anyway, we are in the Iet Dojo, and we can kind of look around here a little bit. There we go. And I have my stuff here. Now, uh, if you've paid attention to the Zenshin Academy uh, channel, these tires and the stuff that's sitting back here mainly was over here in the corner. Now, uh, I just really feel like I need this back up. And it's not really taking any more space than this this stuff here was taking. You know, so, and they got moved into corners and pieces and stuff like that. So I'm going to set this back up. And I did talk to a few people about it and told them I would do a video. Uh, I've already went out to the storage unit and dug out uh, the one box that I think has everything that goes on the table. I think it does. Uh, none of my, none of my uh, stuff will fit in here right now my um, any of my supplies but there is some space in the back there that I might be able to put some stuff so anyway uh, I, I did have a bit of an issue because usually this piece of wood is way out here and this box is setting where the wood is and what I also had to do was I cut a piece of mat and put down so that the table would not press in against the actual mat here. This is a scrap piece of mat. Uh, that way it won't be uh, digging into the actual mat. And that is done on both sides. Of course. There we go. So that way it sits very sturdy but it's not directly on the mat and it's not causing issues. Just like the rest of the stuff, have a slab of mat there. I have a puzzle mat on that one and I have a slab of mat right there hold, uh, under all that. So, and then each piece of wood here has a little slab. That way nothing is actually directly onto the actual mat so I don't indent it or cause it to tear any more than necessary so anyway let's set up and let's hope that at least uh, the altar stuff is all in that box right there I believe I put everything into one box but I can't be a hundred percent sure all right so most likely not a hundred percent most likely what I'll do is I'll speed this up and put music behind it because this is going to take some time to set up. I may have to rearrange stuff. Who knows? So, uh, anyway, let's get on with the show. Alright, so here is a drawing of my basic layout for my altar that I have. Um, that's the way I had it set up before. Uh, I do have pictures of the stuff that's on the ground. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, worry about that stuff after I get this set up. So. Let's begin.
Okay, so it's pretty close to the way I had it. I've just got things setting up on it right now. And I'll go through and tweak things a little bit here and there. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good for now. Now I do have a few things to set out here. And I will get that done. And then I'll get back with you guys. It's not exactly the way I had it before and there still may be a little few tweaks going on but I think it's decent the way it is now if I come in here to train this will definitely have to be moved because it does take up some space so anyway I still feel a lot better that it's up and ready to go then not so anyway here is my divination center uh, I do have ruins in there I have my stones which generally I use and my tarot which I'm not really hugely fond of tarot cards but I do have a set just in case now uh, again these stones right here I use more than anything and generally when I use my divination stones it is simply if if I have a task or something to do or not to do or whatever and I don't care whichever way it turns out then that's when I come to these stones and I ask them you know do I want to do this do I want to do that should I go here should I go there you know that sort of thing if I don't care and I don't have a preference I'll just go to the stones I'll ask the stones and then I'll do whatever uh, whatever is indicated so and and I can get specific about uh, doing one for you if you want let me know and we can I can go through how I do that and again here's a stand for for a book and that is in my chest underneath the main altar and then of course we move over here and I'm very much into uh, bones and skulls and, and things to that nature it's very very uh, important in in my workings on this side I have my antler and a skull and on this side I have an antler and a skull now these both of these skulls are coyote skulls that I, I got myself uh, I did not kill the, the coyotes but they were they were dispatched before I got to them but I did get their skulls uh, here's a hip bone of a deer and then again uh, antler on this side here is a nice chunk of wood this slice of wood actually came from uh, a tree out at uh, Kilo Sierra so and again I have a little incense burner cauldron thing here now this is actually I found this while working on a shelter out there it was buried in the ground and it was all just cluttered with all kinds of stuff and this I really I'm, I'm really sure that I have it upside down it is a cap for a fence but it's a really old cap for a really old fence and as soon as I saw it I'm like oh this is this is a cauldron 
so that became my cauldron the rocks are actually holding it up and I can put sand in it uh, for incense or, or whatever else charcoal whatever either side are a shell and then in the back I have some honeysuckle dried honeysuckle and a piece of quartz which I gathered myself in uh, Bailey Colorado uh, I gathered that myself off of a mountain in Bailey Colorado and there is a jar with some knickknacks and stuff in it I'm gonna do a divination with those as well I have a Kokomo brick and on top of it is a, a piece of crystal and there we go that's that part there let's see if we can lift up underneath here and then underneath if you can kinda see there's my chest there is a beaver pelt on top of the chest and then I have some moss on either side a bone and uh, a piece of uh, pine right there and then in the center is a uh, talisman for my sister and that goes in there and inside that chest are some books and other important objects and again here is the main altar uh, very similar to the way I had it before but it is slightly different and for some reason and and I don't need to know the reason but for some reason it just seems to fit this way better than it fits the the way I originally had it it doesn't seem to fit that way anymore so I'm I'm just going on the the uh, idea that uh, this is the way it's supposed to be now and it is slightly different so we go over here here to the male side and again we have all of the accoutrements and then we move to the center and then we go to the female side again with all of her accoutrements and back let's try to get a let's see if we can't get a uh, overview that's going to be kind of hard i can't get a complete overview just a little too large there we go so anyway my uh my setup is back up and it is in the eat dojo and i think that it's going to uh, although it does take up some space you can see there takes up a tad bit more space uh, only because of that small rug right there that's it uh, this was already basically taken up everything else was the space was actually already taken up by all of my gear which I've been able to scatter about so and one more thing here can't forget this uh, again because of space I, th I think it might be able to fit right there but I have a gourd that is full of goose feathers now I gathered the goose feathers myself uh, and I got the gourd from a gathering of uh, Nordic uh, pagans I was I was at a gathering for a Nor Nordic group and this was one of the items they had on a, um, a bench or a, a table and it was a trade type thing there we, go. we got it set up right there so uh, sitting right there now so yeah it was on a table where you would find something that you liked and you would replace it with something of yours uh, in return and you could take an item so uh, I can't remember exactly what I replaced it with some it was a crystal some kind of it might have been one of the quartz that I had gotten from Colorado because I do have a, a decent amount of those it may have been one of those but that's where I got the gourd all right we're good to go I think I think it just feels much better in here, I'll be honest. It just feels so much better.